What's up, I'm Brian Tong, and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. This week, it's all gravy with new product announcements, and even more to come next week. Can you guys say iPad 2? So let's get to the good stuff, the all new MacBook Pros. Apple's laptop line will now feature the latest Sandy Bridge processors from Intel with the 15 inch and 17 inch model Pros rocking a quad core configuration for the first time ever. They will also feature AMD graphics cards, while the 13-inch line will feature dual-core i5 or i7 processors and Intel's integrated graphics. Now, all MacBook Pros will also feature the all-new Thunderbolt port that supports high-performance data and high-resolution displays all through a single connection with 10 gigabits of throughput. Whoa, unbelievable. And with an adapter, it will connect to its Apple's current cinema display, DVI, HDMI, or VGA displays. You'll get a solid state drive build to order option for every model, and you'll also get a high res display option only on the 15 inch models to increase the resolution to 1680 to 1050. That's 36% more pixels than the standard 1440 by 900. Whoa. Apple stuck with the same cosmetic design, so we might be waiting for 2012 to see a drastic physical change to the line. But it's all about the power under the hood. We told you the Apple buyers to wait it out, and now you're being rewarded. Now, Apple also released the developer preview of Mac OS X Lion. You have to be part of the developer program to get access to it, and we've talked about some of its features like Launchpad, full screen apps, and mission control. But they also showcase some new features like a revamped mail, versions which automatically saves successive versions of your documents, and a wireless file sharing system for computers nearby called AirDrop. They'll also be integrating the server version into Mac OS X Lion for free, so we'll be sure to have more details on the OS for you guys before its summer release. Apple also launched the FaceTime for the Mac app. It was previously a public beta and will now come pre-installed for new MacBook owners. Some of you current users might be a little ticked off that they have to pay 99 cents for it due to accounting requirements for the new functionality. All right, let's take a break for our app of the week. This week's app is TuneIn Radio. Now, I've been using others, but this is the cleanest radio experience I've had. Plus, you can record live radio, listen to it later. It's 99 cents right now, which is 50% off, but it's by far my favorite radio app right now, so you guys want to check it out. Now, there's this other product, the iPad 2 thing that, you know, I guess people have been talking about. Well, Apple has sent out their official invitation for the event on March 2nd. That's this coming Wednesday in San Francisco at the Yerba Buena Garden Center, and we'll do our best to get into the event for you. I can tell you what we did learn from some of the intelligence we collected. Apple will be releasing a new line of colored dots. They aren't scratch and sniff, they do taste sweet, and Apple will be calling it <laughs> eye candy. Yeah, you got that? Yeah. All right, everyone wants to know what the next iPad will really look like, but could this be it? We'll probably know by the time some of you watch this, but a Japanese blog site has posted images of the mock-up that shows a significantly thinner iPad with tapered edges that also coincides with some cases and covers. Now, Apple has called an all-hands-on meeting for the retail stores this recent Sunday. Employees are signing non-disclosure agreements, and they typically only do these things before a major product release. Now, it could point to the iPad coming even sooner rather than later, but we'll get all of our answers very soon. Now to the quick bites. Final Cut users who have been waiting for a couple of years for the next version might be getting one soon. TechCrunch reports will be coming with a complete redesign of the user interface, which may be a good or bad thing for longtime users, but we've been waiting patiently for the next FCP. Apple has discontinued the box version of MobileMe and removed it from their online store, which could point to the rumored free version of the revamped service. And we might be a day or a few days late when you watch this, but we'd like to wish Mr. Stephen P. Jobs a happy 56th birthday, because let's be honest, without him, I'd probably be making balloon animals for a living. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Send your emails, your questions, and your comments to theapplebite at cnet.com. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another Bite of the Apple.